Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the various methods of reproduction that is performed by the kingdom fungi. First, we are going to talk about the vegetative mode of reproduction performed by the kingdom fungi. This vegetative mode of reproduction, they can happen in various ways. So what are the ways? They can happen by fragmentation, they can happen by budding, fission, formation of sclerotia or formation of rhizomorphs. Now we are going to talk about all these types of methods of vegetative reproduction in detail. So first let us talk about what do we mean by sclerotia. For that we will concentrate on this picture. Sclerotia, these are penetrating bodies which are made up of compact masses of hyphae. So here you can see these are basically the penetrating bodies. It helps in penetrating of the hyphae into the host organism because of which it can obtain nutrients from the host. So these are the penetrating structures. Compared to this, the rhizomorphs, they are rope-like structure. That is, if we keep a mass of rope together, so that those will look like the rhizomorphs. Now, rhizomorphs, they are the rope-like masses of hyphae, but in addition to that, they have well-defined apical growing points. So these are the growing points, which is quite well-defined. It helps in the growth of these type of rhizomorphs. Now let us take a look on the various methods we were talking about. First we will be discussing about the fragmentation method of vegetative reproduction. So from the name we can understand fragmentation that means fragmenting, dividing into smaller parts. So here you can see the hyphae it breaks into smaller parts or it fragments. Now this smaller fragments it can give rise to individual mycelium or hyphae. So here we can see, so this is a fragment which has broken out, here it is a broken point. So these are the fragments. Now what will happen? These will grow mature, this will mature and they in turn will give rise to new mycelium or new hyphae. So this is a type of uh, vegetative reproduction which has been given a terminology fragmentation. The next type is fission. This is a common type which is also followed by the prokaryotic cells. What happens? The parent cell, it divides into two daughter cells. The parent nucleus also divides into two. The equal distribution of the cytoplasmic contents happen and it produces two clones. That is these two daughter cells we are seeing, they will be clones and they won't have any differences. The third type is known as budding. Here what happens? The parent structure, it shows a outgrowth, smaller outgrowth as you can see over here. So these are known as bud. These structures, when it matures, when it grows older, it separates out from the parent body. Now, this separated bud will now give rise to new organism. At times, some fungi, what happens? The buds we are seeing here, it keeps on growing without separation. So, it will form a chain of buds. So, these are known as pseudomycelium. So, what happens? These uh, buds which we are seeing, they now will uh, they can separate only when a lot of buds have grown and it becomes uh, the weight becomes heavy so then it separates out and give rise to new organisms or um, other way it can happen that a small bud can come out and it separates and a new mycelium arises the fourth type is known as oidea so what are these so this is a hyphae like structure now what happens the hyphae it breaks into smaller yeast like cells as you can see over here so these are the yeast like cells now these are known as oidea. Now with uh, conditions, when conditions are favorable, what happens? These oidea, it give rise to a new organism. So each of these oidea, they can give rise to a new organism. This vegetative reproduction is the due to the formation of structures called oidea. The third, uh, the fifth structure is known as the formation of chlamydospores. What are these? As we can understand, these are spores. So spores are formed inside the hyphae. These are formed only under unfavorable conditions and conditions are not favorable for the growth or the survival of the organisms. So here you can see these are these have got very uh, thick walled and they are highly resistant structures. So in order to survive the unfavorable conditions. Now when conditions revive back, when the conditions are favorable once again, then what happens? These chlamydospores, they can germinate back to a new organism. Now similar to that of chlamydospores, it is called gamay. So these gamay, these are similar to that of chlamydospores, but the only difference is that the spores formed by these type of gamay, they are not very thick-walled 
and they are also not very durable or resistant. So, they cannot uh, survive very high unfavorable conditions. So, they can tolerate moderate variations in the environmental conditions. So, in this video, we have talked about the various methods of vegetative reproduction that is followed by the kingdom fungi. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.